This is the Up and Down. Right, so good morning friends and fans. We're out here at Forest Hills Golf Course. Uh, day after Labor Day, I've got the day off of work, so I figured I'd come play some golf. Now, when I come out to play golf, I wanna try to work on something. Today, I thought maybe I'd throw together a video that'd be a little more fun, maybe do some different challenges out on the course. Um, the way I was hitting the ball in the driving range felt fantastic in a lot of ways. It just felt fresh and quick. Um, unfortunately, that quickness has followed me to the golf course to where uh, maybe my hands are a little quick and uh, just get a little bit out of sync and I'm hitting these uh, pretty significant draws, which is uh, interesting to see. So the thing that we're going to work on today is mental game. We're going to work on getting focused on the shot. Uh, having watched Patrick Cantlay this weekend and the way he uh, sort of gets in a trance to hit every single shot and just focuses. Um, We'll use that as a little motivation today. We want to get into a shot and have a very intentional, uh, intentional approach to the shot. Have a shot shape in mind. Have an exact shot in mind uh, as you're over the ball and as I'm uh, trying to hit the ball. Because I think that's the area that I could probably most improve is in that mental game. Um, I have a tendency, whether it's uh, ADD or something else, to just stand over it and swing the club and oh okay it went good or oh okay it went bad and then just move on um that sort of light-hearted but not focused approach um uh, can work i guess uh but i don't think that's the best way to get out here and get a, a low score on the card so what i want to try to do is get in the zone and get focused um have a, a specific shot and really feel the contact before i even pull the club away so uh that's the goal today now we're on number two already, left trees, uh, not an unusual position for me, so I'm gonna have to hit a, a very lively punch, probably have to turn it left a little bit. Um, but we'll see how this goes. I think I have uh, slow groups in front of me here, or at least one, maybe two slow groups in front of me. Um, so even if they let me play through, I should have plenty of time uh, to get in the zone and get focused on what I'm trying to do here and be very intentional with my golf shot. So. That's what we're going to work on today. Right, so that was pretty decent. Um, I was able to keep it under the tree, had the right trajectory. It did turn to the left. It did not turn left enough. Uh, distance was great. It was right up there. Uh, green high if not pen high so overall I give that like a B B plus uh, if I turn that in just a little bit more left I'm on the green and I have a green in regulation that I absolutely not deserve so uh, now the trick is to get up and down from where I'm at so we'll see how that looks uh, should be doable I'm up I can get a good view of the green here uh, and we'll see how this looks so with the thought of being intentional here I've got ball here pin up here kind of back middle um, I'm going to pick out a shot. I'll talk you through it. 
I'm gonna be very intentional about where I wanna land this one. Right, so there's a spot with three leaves. I'm gonna to try to land it right there. It should roll a little left after it bounces. Right, so I did a great job of hitting my spot there. What I did not do is a great job of spin control. It came out with a little mud on it, so it just died. Um, not the end of the world, still got a par putt. It's almost like there's a group trying to give some lessons up here, which I'm all for. Uh, we're all out here learning, get better, and hopefully have some fun along the way. Um, I'm wanting to see if they'll play through after this hole. Probably requires me to hit a good tee shot. So, quick review of what I did up here. Uh, shot from the left trees was decent. Chip shot, okay. Left a little work to do. I had a makeable putt, missed it on the low side um, with probably a little too much speed, honestly. Made the putt coming back, so that's a bogey. Um, nothing major there. What I have to do now is, again, be very intentional about the shot. For the left to right wind, I don't have to be as scared of a big draw. Uh, it's gonna fight that draw tendency, so I can go at this one a little harder. Um, I'm gonna go seven iron. Uh, it may be just the right club in normal wind conditions, which there's not a ton of wind today. Um, so I'm gonna to try to hit, again, uh, given that fa or a draw tendency that I've got right now, I'm gonna to try to hit center of the green and turn it just a little bit left, work it just a little bit left and hope the wind holds it there. We'll see what happens. See if they'll let me play through after that. Yeah, kind of holding a bunch, bunch of stuff. Yeah, I think one of them's out there kind of learning still. Watching the guys in the Tour Championship this weekend, it's hard to tell myself that I transition quick after watching John Rahm and how quick he gets through it. Um, but that seems to be it. I mean, if I go a little too quick, then things get out of sync. I don't shift my weight properly. I don't load the front end. Um, so these are things I'm keeping my eye on. Gotta get up and down again here for par. So I hit the fairway on number four, great four iron. Um, I then chunked the pitching wedge in from 145. Uh, I think if I'd hit it clean, 
that still may not have gotten there. Um, left the approach just a little on the short side. Um, that little uh, chip came up a little short of where it needed to, which left me some work to do on the putt. I over putted it again. Um, and this time I missed low side again. So the tendency so far is that I'm hitting too hard and missing low side. Uh, so I need to put more break in these putts, get back to the feel of this home course, put a little more break in the putts and not hit them quite as hard. So that's gonna feel like a missed opportunity because I made bogey there. Uh, actually, I made double there, I three putted. Um, it's gonna feel like a missed opportunity throughout the day. That, that's a birdie or at least par kind of hole. It's the first test of the day. It's uh, a driver hole potentially, should be every time. Um, of course, my driver has been sketchy at best. I am due to get fitted and tuned up again here Saturday. Uh, today's Tuesday. So hitting a club I know is not quite right for me. I was able to hit a couple of decent ones on the range though, so I want to give it a go. Here we go. So I healed that one just a hair right there. Um, it did fade. Uh, it had a fade wind too, so that's not helping. Um, we'll see where it ended up. Alright, so we're way out front now, basically a full hole ahead of the uh, people behind us. Now's the time we got to get really focused on that shot shape again. A uh, couple of loose ones there, I'd like to be doing a little better than that. So, focus up, that's today's goal. Right, so those little adjustments are helping out. I had said that I needed to uh, allow for more break and allow for more speed. I did just that. Made one I expected to have missed because I over adjusted. So thought process here. Uh, it's a par five straight away. Wind is working off the right a little bit. It would be great if I had any kind of distance on my driver. But what I'm seeing is a high back spinning fade that goes 250. I think my forearm is gonna roll out longer than that anyway. So I'm going to give the four iron everything I've got and just plan on not getting there in two, unfortunately. If we're trying to score, I think this is the way to do it, um, at least until Saturday. So maybe the rest of the week get out and hit some more drivers and try to find a driver swing that I can take to the, take to the man on Saturday. But until then, uh, I think four iron off the, off the tee box is probably the play. All right, so I just hit four iron really well. A little high on the face. I've been here quite a bit with driver. All right, so thought process on that shot. I was gonna hit five iron. Uh, I think that's gonna leave me in the 120 to 130 range, which is a great number. Um, thought process is the fairway slopes left to right pretty good. Um, if it's a low runner, it's gonna kick right. And my tendency is to fade it, or I'm sorry, my tendency with the four iron, or five iron is to draw the ball. So with the miss being a draw, which I then did hit, 
um, helping myself a little room on the left. So I was aiming up the right side. I did get the draw that is the miss with that club, which is fine because I can then uh, counteract that by leaving myself enough fairway on the left. Now I landed, kicked off to the right. I should have a wedge in. All right, sitting at 118. The wind shifted. It's pushing a little bit. I'm going to go 52, and I'm going to flatten it a little bit. I'm going to hit a flighted 52. So I'm going to kind of lag into it, hit it with plenty of spin. Uh, again, I'm aiming maybe five yards left of the flag to allow for a little bit of a push, a little bit of a fade uh, on this lie. But we're going to go right at it. So strategy for this hole is paying off to this point. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a birdie putt. So as we drive up, what I'm seeing is I missed that a good 10 feet right of the pin. Uh, having aimed left, it actually faded a little more than I thought. Uh, in the helping wind, I wouldn't have expected much of a fade there, but I got it anyway. Uh, should have some decent spin on that. We'll see how this ended up. I think this is a makeable putt. We're gonna try, we're gonna do the whole thing, the whole routine, and see if we can't sink this for birdie. There it is, a little six footer for birdie. Um, feels good to make the should makes. And that's the same story on that putt where I played for a little more break and a little more speed than what I felt. Uh, coming off the course I played this weekend in Chicago, um, I think my feel is just gonna have to adjust. And so far I've been able to do that very intentionally. Here's an interesting one, 176 yards, downhill, downwind. Normally, this might feel like an 8-iron. Um, the way I'm hitting it, if there was no wind at all, it might feel like an 8-iron. The way I'm hitting it today, I think I'm going to hit Pitching Wedge. Pitching Wedge 176. It's a lot of Pitching Wedge. Let's see what happens. Good news is the yardage was great. Bad news is I was just a little bit quick in the transition. Um, at the wrong time, hands caught up and pulled it a little bit. Um, so, left of the pin. Should be an up and down opportunity. Keeper has these greens rolling quick. Um, I just tapped that putt, just tapped it, and it went in. Um, but it went in for par, so there's an up and down for you. How about that? Welcome to Forest Hills Golf Course, home of the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad. Um, kind of a defining feature here on the home course. You got to play through a little bit of noise, play through a little bit of distraction. In today's focus on playing intentional golf and playing with uh, a focus and a sight and a picture of what you want to try to do in your head, um, we're going to play through this. Wind is now hurting. I'm hitting four iron again because I've been crushing that today. So a very natural sort of handsy reaction to that shot. I got in under it, and then to keep from snap hooking it, I held the club face open and just held off on it. Resulted in a pretty bad push. We're up in the trees again. Um, gonna be a challenging, challenging shot to get anywhere near the green here. I'm pretty happy with how that ended up. Um, not that I got into the sand, but how I got out. So. 
finding myself here in the fairway at 69 yards. Um, it's a pretty decent result. Now this would be dream territory if I had hit my four iron the way I wanted to and got that little bit of a draw instead of a uh, push. I would have probably been right around here. So 70 yards in. Seventy yards in, into the wind. Um, not a strong wind, but a wind nonetheless. So it's going to be most of a sixty degree. See if I can get most of a sixty degree here. Now that was most of a 60 degree, but I think I flattened it a little bit. Um, maybe de-lofted a little bit, hit it really, really well. Got it up in the air, right on line as you can probably tell. If we zoom in with the 4K there. Right here is an example of the things I'm here to try to improve on. Uh, that tee shot, honestly, that's going to be a bogey kind of hole regardless, especially once I get it out in the fairway really well. Hit a good wedge, just not the right number. Um, could have hit a much better wedge and had a chance at a par, but from putting off the green here for par, it uh, doesn't seem like a high percentage, but it, it should make bogey after that putt, right? I've got four feet. That's the focus shot that I need to be more focused on, more intentional about. Uh, I should have gone through that whole thought process, that quick, you know, one second of, oh yeah, it's a little fast, play more break. I played it for less break, and guess what? It broke. Um, so that's that's a focus miss. That's a bogey that turns into a double bogey from a loss of focus. There's a positive and negative to the shot I just hit. Um, so that's the four iron where I don't quite hold off on it. I went ahead and went with the hands, sent it with, sent the club head, um, and got the draw that you really have to anticipate with that kind of shot. Now, results less than ideal, right? I missed the fairway a little left to find the bunker. Uh, so somewhere between the shot I just hit on eight, the shot I just now hit on nine, uh, is gonna be the right shot that, you know, uh, hard hit, a little bit of a fade. Uh, even better would be if I don't get under plane on that and I can hit the shot I wanna hit, which is uh, quite a bit straighter and probably a little bit longer, honestly. Uh, probably a flatter trajectory, less backspin, it's gonna carry more. This one's gonna be tricky. Uh, we're gonna be sitting here probably 120-ish out of the sand. Um, it is sitting up a little bit, but I'm gonna have to strike this thing. 122 yards into the wind. Um, I believe I'm gonna go at this pretty hard. So I'm gonna go at it with a 48. I'm gonna swing hard, I'm gonna to try to get mostly ball, a little bit of sand at the bottom, and just catch it relatively cleanly and hit 48 here. Um, probably gonna backspin a little bit once it gets there. Hopefully that sound came through on the camera. I mean, that was all ball. There was sand after the ball, but not before.
right then. So there's, right then. So there's another up and down. Not at all what I would have expected after that fried egg lie. Not at all what I could have expected after the tee shot into the sand. A little bit of mental focus helped with that one, I think. How about that. Now you won't know it from YouTube, but I do have a, a pretty good lazy streak in me. And that's part of what we're fighting here is the tendency to say, eh, I'll just make this one work and go, uh, rather than putting in the extra effort in that moment. And that's what today is about, is putting in that extra effort in that moment, getting the right club, which I did, and then getting into the shot and hitting the shot I want to hit, which I think I just did. So that's three pars on all three of the par threes so far. I've just got one of those left here on the back nine. Uh, might have to start rethinking what is a birdie versus bogey kind of hole for me, just based on what I'm hitting with. Uh, because the par threes here have traditionally, with the exception of number seven, kind of been bogey holes for me. Uh, but the way I'm swinging the club these days, I don't know if that's any, uh, any more the case than, well, the par fives, right? Of course, I had a birdie on the par 5 today so far, so we'll see. Um, keeping that intent and that focus front and center, we've got here a par 4. It's playing with wind. So I may go club down and go like 6 iron off the tee here, uh, which would be nuts, but there's no reason not to with the wind behind me. So we'll see what we do here with a 6. Great, nice cool morning, 72, a little overcast, not too hot, not too sunny. Um, I think I probably flew into this tree and we'll see where it ends up. All right, based on how well I hit my tee shot on number 10, we're gonna go seven iron here. I'm going somewhere between the edge of the trees and the tower there, maybe the smaller one in the distance. Um, that way if it does draw, I've got a little bit of room. Basically trying to get inside of 100 here, give myself something to work with on the wedge.
pretty happy with that. All right, so that was actually mashed a little bit and kicked forward. The wind helped quite a bit. I've got 85 left. Um, a little bit of a flyer lie. Missed the fairway by, I don't know, two feet. Um, so no support under it, it's up on the fluff. Um, but 85 yards. So I'm probably just gonna toss this one up in the wind with a 60 degree and hope for the best. Um, we're gonna go right at the flag. The tendency with the 60 is for it to go right. The wind's trying to work it back left as you can probably tell from the flag. Um, so the intent here is to go right at it. And there's not much to it. This is just knowing that contact is not gonna compress the ball. This one's gonna be kind of lifted instead. Um, otherwise, this is just a stock 60 degree. It's a, it's a good number. It's a good setup for a shot. Um, and go right at the pin. Two putt par, love it. Um, only thing missing there, I told myself, play more speed and more break than what you think. That's been the trend so far. Um, allowed for a little more speed and then didn't get the break. So a little bit of a misread, it was dead straight. Once I got it out to the left, it didn't come back at all. So this one's tricky. Coming out of the rough, I've got a lot of fluff behind the ball, but the ball's sitting down a little bit. Um, one, four, seven, wind helping. Ball below my feet, and the pin is tucked in the left side. Now, Bubba Watson would hit a big draw here. Uh, I don't have that ability to hit that draw with wind in uh, my favor. So I lied, I am gonna try. 147, wind helping. It's sitting down a little bit. There's some rough behind it. I am gonna to try to turn it. I, it may be a fool's errand, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So I'm gonna go out to the right side of the green and try to turn it left. Um, if it just goes straight, then it's hopefully still on the green. That just wasn't enough. Wasn't enough club head speed. I needed to get it more uh, up the slope. So the slope rejected it. I'll have a tough putt here for par. So let's analyze this hole, shall we? The tee shot, big draw left. I got lucky with the kick, but left myself in a pretty tough spot, dealing with trees overhanging that left side. Didn't get any kind of draw on the shot. It was just a simple push, landed right rough. And then the chip to get up, just didn't quite get up. Um, leaving myself a pretty low probability putt. And of course, two putted from there for a bogey. Um, Damage really was off the tee. I didn't set myself up with a wedge on a probably drive and wedge kind of par four. Got the same kind of drive and wedge par four coming up, except it's even more straightforward than this one. Uh, put the ball anywhere in the fairway and it's an unobstructed wedge in uh, and probably a shorter one than what this hole could offer. So instead of pitching wedge, I'm probably hitting sand wedge in on this next hole if I get that part or that uh, four iron off the tee. The way I want to. Here we go.
so I had the number there. I think the wind carried it off to the right a little bit. Might even be plugged and have a really tough sand shot here. This par five, I mean, it's a narrow window to hit out of and a narrow landing zone down there with driver, especially, uh, but with four iron as well. So wish me luck. So I think I hit in the biggest gust of the wind of the day. Um, beautiful four iron, tailed a little bit left, especially in that wind, uh, directly into the wind, by the way. So we'll see where it ended up. I think I may have caught the trees left. Mission accomplished to say the least. Just a bullet up the left side that caught the slope and kicked right into the fairway. 140, I am gonna hit nine iron. I'm gonna go a club up. We're gonna try to get back there on that back part of the green. Right, so I held off on that, kind of kicked back, really opened it up. Um, can you imagine that the result was a slice? Uh, just a push, fade, and a fade win. Got up into that pine tree and kicked back. The chip down is gonna be tricky. Up and down to stay under par on the par fives. You can see I've got a bit of a obstruction here. I uh, can't go up. And the lie, um, it's a downhill lie, so it's, you know, It'll be hard to get any kind of loft on it anyway. I think what I have to try to do is land it rough and balance it into the green. Uh, really, really touchy. Here we go. I have no idea how he just did that much spin from this angle, but that is beautiful. Chance for par here. This is the up and down. Right, so we ended up with bogey there. Uh, had no green to work with on the chip, so I tried to do a little handsy flippy thing. Uh, needed to carry it about another foot, and then it probably would have been pretty good. Um, that just that level of precision just isn't going to be in that shot, unfortunately. Uh, so that's two putt bogey from behind. Um, so 74, four over on the back, two to play. I think I may need to make a stint meter. I should note, these greens are rolling. Um, I would be willing to bet 
on a stem, but they're an 11 or 12. Um, they're quick. They're running fast today. We got hands moving on that one, ended up getting below the plane, and then got the hands in it. Big, relatively high actually, draw. Should say I kind of lost that intentionality on that shot. I, I stepped up and just tried to swing hard. Um, we'll call that one that C minus that we've been trying to avoid all day, honestly. I, I, I lost the intent there. I've lost focus on what I'm trying to do with every swing. That's what we're here for today. Gotta remember that. Right then, 58 yards into the wind. Uh, really a relatively small target for this one, so I'm gonna have to be pretty precise. I'm gonna try to hit it about 60 yards. Um, and if it hits that back slope and comes back, that should be fine. Uh, I don't overspin these, but the speed of these greens, if it's coming back off that slope, it may come off the front of the green too. We'll see. that about 55 um, should be on the front right edge so I'm gonna have a right to left uphill putt which is a whole lot better than missing long on this so maybe a makeable putt save par give yourself a chance at 81 82 kind of number I think I've heard that referred to as the pro miss, missing on the high side and rolling it just by. Um, not too bad with that effort, but it's a bogey. So stats on the day. I did have a birdie on the front nine on that par five. Uh, six pars, seven bogeys, four doubles, um, but no triples or others. Um, I made a bogey on the par three sixteenth, and I was actually under par on the par fives. I was one stroke under par on the par fives. That never happens. Unfortunately, on the par fours, I was quite a bit over bogey ball. Um, 1.7 putts per hole, 1.8 putts per green in regulation. Those are decent numbers for me. Both are better than my average. Um, I only had four greens in regulation. I would average closer to six. So that's definitely the missed opportunity of the day. We needed to hit a few more greens. Uh, two for four, greens on the par threes. O oh for 11, hit zero greens in regulation on par fours. Uh, two for three on the par fives, not bad. Only hit three fairways today. That is a problem. Um, hit fairway on number four. Hit fairway on number six. And hit fairway on number 12. Didn't hit another fairway. That hurts. Um, a mix of left and right. So five went to the right, six went to the left. So I was hitting a few more draws than pushes or fades. Um, the one driver I hit went right, so you leave that in the bag the rest of the day. Um, irons tended to go left, um, or at least under plane, so either pushes or draws. Um, three for 14 scrambling, uh, so three up and downs today. Four chances 
to save out of the sand, one of which was successful. Um, and then didn't lose any balls today. Um, I did lose one on number one. Call that fall rules. It's sitting under a leaf somewhere. Um, but yeah, that, that was the day, 85. Um, so we look at the details here. The pars. Fairway two putt par on number three. Or hit the green two putt par on number three. Um, a one putt on seven where I was pin high. And then a one putt on nine where I got up and down out of that sand um, somehow. Uh, par on 10, green and regulation. Par on 12, uh, green and regulation again. Par on 15, that was an impossible up and down. I got really lucky there. So those are the pars today. Overall, um, obviously it's a great day to be out on the course anytime you get out on the course, but wanted to do a little better than what we ended up doing today. Um, would have loved to come in about four or five strokes under where we were. Um, got with coach at the turn, so we got to come back here at three o'clock. We'll get a little film of that if we can. All right, we'll see you soon.